that can take any type of uh, scrubber, I would say, metals, and I'm, I'm going to explain about aluminum and copper, and then using Nikola Tesla, electromagnetics, so forget the old types of uh, uh, technologies, uh, we can convert this into uh, very valuable ecological uh, alloys. So uh, just to offer a couple of examples, I mean, our, our energy usage, and, and there is a, a built-up factory already in uh, uh, in Cyprus is less than 5% of the usage of traditional methods while our carbon dioxide emissions uh, are actually zero compared to traditional uh, methods. Uh, the, the process uh, and then uh, what I would like to do right now uh, I would like to play a, s a small video of three minutes and then I will come back explaining our blockchain I would say utilization.
we resolve the small technical problem with the mic, but essentially just to summarize, what does blockchain does for a real, I would say, uh, green uh, industrial company like us? Quality control, provenance, immutability, ease of payments. For a real example of blockchain, there is a couple of points that you have to consider. One, does it save time? Does it save money? Will it help you? So here I think you have the first example, the first use of Internet of Things, blockchain and artificial intelligence together. Essentially, we buy scrap metal, if we're talking about aluminum, from South Africa, from Thailand, even within Cyprus or, or Greece. What you do actually, you can track the physical, I would say, metal, by just putting uh, various, I would say, trackers within the container. Uh, this tracking actually is uploaded into the Zeme DAP, the centralized application that we are, we are under development right now. So at any given moment of time, we know where the container is. The material comes into the factory in Limassol. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a built-up factory. Anybody wants to visit, I mean, is welcome. And then we convert into ecological alloys. By the way, uh, Zeme is the only company in Cyprus and Greece that is accepted by the European Union on the circular economy platform as part from the industry. And that actually, I would say, says a lot. The final product is uh, physical, I would say, ingots, aluminum, or oops, much heavier, copper. Gold is also produced smaller quantities, but essentially uh, what is happening is that uh, you, once you produce the product, you produce a QR code. What does the, the, the QR code, I would say, uh, does? It tells us what is this material is, uh, if it's, uh, what should I say, for, uh, I mean, refreshment cans, if it's for the smartphone industry, if it's for the car industry, and so on. Uh, when it was produced, uh, when is the, how is the scraps are stream and everything. Uh, and what you do actually, you bring a third party auditor, uh, in which case can enter the factory at any given moment of time and audits actually the fact that you really produce this material. You block actually, you group together this uh, uh, particular, I would say, called SKS and you form what is referred to as a safekeeping receipt. You upload this safekeeping re receipt actually uh, into, into uh, blockchain, and then you have for the first time verifiable, auditable proof of product. Uh, in which case, actually, uh, you are able to, to sell it. Uh, and uh, uh, we said that, you know, for blockchain to work, it saves you time and money, and this is an industrial application. Uh, sorry, the QR code. But uh, essentially, the most important thing how do you sell industrial, I would say, metals right now? Through SWIFT or particularly through letters of credit. Uh, an obscure bank uh, without any issues from, uh, I don't know, an, a, a small country comes forward. Our bank says, I'm really sorry, I cannot accept this uh, letter of credit. Tell them to aval, meaning to go and confirm to the bank. The whole procedure can take two or three weeks. Uh, in which case, actually, and there's a substantial cost. If we're talking about a million uh, euros, which is a very reasonable amount in aluminum or copper and so on, usually you have a cost of 25 to 3%, which translates to 30,000, uh, I would say, euros. With uh, the proposed method, I would say, uh, uh, sorry, uh, with the proposed method, uh, what you can do, the buyer shows us his money, blocks the money on the application, and once SGS, for example, or any other major company shows that uh, there is a bill of lading on the ship, it releases the money. Transaction cost under 50 euros. I mean, the, there is a substantial cost to create the platform, but in our case, actually, you are able to relieve this cost uh, quite, quite uh, quickly. And then uh, we are actually working on additional metals. As I said right now, there is aluminum, copper, gold, uh, and uh, ideally, in the very near future, in the next month, we're working on launching a stable coin that will be based 100% on uh, physical, I would say, metals, meaning if there is production, you'll be able to uh, get the, the stable coin. Uh, if not, uh, you know, you are not going to be able to produce. And essentially, because it's, there is a series of industrial metals and a series of uh, precious metal, this is quite stable. If the market collapses, obviously, the other metals uh, will go uh, up. Uh, and uh, I would like just to talk uh, slightly about the next project uh, for one, one minute. It's actually 
We have a pattern that can convert plastics into, into diesel, uh, any type of waste plastics, and uh, the utilization uh, will be uh, through blockchain. So uh, if anybody has a, a QR reader, actually, I would like to invite him and come and, and scan the, the code to see what is the provenance of the aluminum and what is the provenance of, of the silver. Uh, but uh, uh, essentially, you start with very, very dirty material uh, because our emissions are technically zero in terms of carbon dioxide. Our cost is less than 5% of traditional methods, actually. We are able to convert this material into very, very refined, I would say, product. Uh, and everything, I mean, every single step of the way on this industrial application is being utilized uh, uh, and is being uploaded on the blockchain. You can control every single bit of information. Uh, if you want to release certain information to the specific buyer, you can do it. Actually, a, a buyer is able to, to buy this and, uh, what should I say, give proof of ownership to a third party uh, about, uh, uh, what should I say, it's a product. Uh, everybody has heard about uh, uh, gold, I would say, and digitization and all these attempts. The thing is, I just invite everybody, try to withdraw that gold. Uh, I mean, usually what is happening is somebody knows an AIF, an alternative investment fund. This alternative investment fund knows a trader in LBMA. Who knows the actual vote? I mean, it takes weeks, and there is a transaction cost at each point of time. Here you are talking about real green production of the physical uh, and actually withdrawal within, I would say, uh, days. I mean, a, a day or two if the transaction cost is, is paid. Thank you. have time for a couple of questions. Yes, please. Working, uh, uh, sorry, the, the application right now is in the final, uh, uh, what should I say, steps to be launched actually. I mean, for example, if somebody was going to come forward and uh, scan this, it would tell you, but essentially it's solidity on ERC-20. Uh, ideally, I mean, we're looking at ERC-223, but uh, today I saw some very nice examples here of additional platforms, so I would like to talk to them because uh, there's going to be scalability on this thing. I mean, we, yeah, what should I say, blockchain is about democratization, it's about empowering everybody. Uh, this platform actually is about ethical companies and about companies that are able to produce, not about somebody who buys and speculates. So, once this is launched, in the very near future, if any other company is there uh, and is able to produce this, I mean, they are invited to come and talk to us and we are ready to share this technology. This is not only for them. Yes. So, at what stage are we actually at now at the moment? For, for the... We've got the factory. The you're factory is built up. The, the, the biggest problem, to be honest, we face because we had to develop the patents, the real patents, the technology, which takes five, six years. Uh, prototypes talk to the banks, then you talk to the insurance engineers, then you need, regrettably, another five years to get the license in the European Union, which is the biggest obstacle we face. Uh, and the problem is if it's new technologies, they don't really understand. So the factory is in uh, live stage right now. And we're developing the blockchain, I would say, platform. Originally, we started with aluminum. In the way, you found out that if we change the lining, that the special, I would say, cement within our, I don't want to call them furnace, it's electromagnetic induction, uh, to a different material, you can take copper. And it has to do with chemical engineering and what the decrees are for this. Uh, so we hope to be able to launch fully the platform in the next, I would say, in three to four months after we test the bags. And, and everything else, M maybe faster. Then uh, our main aim is to launch this ICO, which is going to be a stable coin. And I mean, essentially, it's going to be backed by the metals. And also, the aim of the company is to do a security token offering in the near future. I've been trying for this for the last two years. The reason is that you have a real company with assets, you have a real company with substantial projected EBITDA in tens of millions that potentially can go to hundreds of millions. Uh, it, and blockchain actually is there to help you as a tool and not just to just give them a paper without anything and, and, and create. Uh, so ideally, I mean, we're looking at uh, London as a jurisdiction with Switzerland as a second point. Thank you. 
But if anybody, again, wants to visit my address, you know, uh, is welcome in Lima or Cyprus. Uh, and you can see the factory. You can see every, every, everything. A lot of people came, actually. I, I see some faces. And they were impressed because we kept a very low profile until now. <laughs> Thank Great. Thank you.